what's up cancer all right so there is this wonderful wonderful thing called forgiveness we can do it to release negative energy and to heal ourselves but just because we forgive don't mean we forget so if there was one word to describe the energy that is surrounding you now and will be lingering on out throughout this next transit for you that one word would be rumor and of course to help you further understand what it is that i'm trying to tell you cancer i need for you to go with me on a mind trip so you are at your home relaxing when all of a sudden there's a knock at the door to your surprise there is this person who maybe you guys had a little bit of a falling out why because this person spread a rumor it could be a lover it could have been an ex-friend it could be someone from the past who cares the person is there to make amends so you tell them that you forgive them but it wouldn't really be in your best interest to hang out with them rekindle anything be friends with them again because it's just not a good look but they say what i did wasn't that bad i just spread a few little rumors about you i just maybe said a little something something that wasn't true I mean, nobody believes me anyway. Who cares? So you put them on a mission. You tell them, write down each and everything that you said to me on a piece of paper. And then I want you to tear that piece of paper up and I want you to drive down the expressway and I want you to throw all of those pieces of paper filled with the rumors and the lies that you said about me all over. So they do what you say. They write down the things that they said about you. They throw the paper all over the expressway. And all of those different rumors and lies spread. So they say, do you forgive me now? Are you ready to be my friend again? Are you ready to rekindle our romance again? And you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. One more thing. Now I need you to go back out. And I need you to collect each and every single one of those lies and rumors that you spread. And the person scratches their head and they say, well, well that's impossible. Cause, Cause I don't know where they are now. I don't know how far they've gone. I don't even know where to begin to look for the rumors and the lies that I spread about you. Oh. And that's when you sitting there looking at them like, oh, yeah. So you don't know the extent of what you've done. Oh, cancer, my cancer, oh, cancer. People are going to realize the extent of what they've done. Now, for some of y'all, I'm not feeling like this is no, uh, you know, big incident where it's a whole bunch of rumors and lies and, and stuff spread about you. For some of y'all, it may be that big and that serious. For some of y'all, it may just be one little thing that somebody think they said, but it blew up to be much more than they anticipated. Okay? It's like forgiveness is great, but be careful now because it's like another way you might have to maneuver on, around this person, if not eliminate them from your circle entirely okay again this could be a lover this could be a friend this could be a co-worker this could be somebody that you told them i'm gonna tell you this don't tell nobody next thing you know everybody knows okay we're gonna look to see specifically what this may be for you this is gonna be more like a weekly scope to see what's going on to see what moves you should make let's see center of the reading oh the knight of cups news information could be an offer of romance this is someone coming in and they want to either confess something they want to offer a cup of love maybe they want to i just heard introduce themselves i feel like maybe someone from afar has had their eye on you and here they come they want to introduce themselves so if someone randomly comes up to you this week and they like want to shake your hand or they want to talk to you or they just randomly start you know speaking to you this may be someone that you've already known who's already seen you and scoped you out and i'm feeling like you need to know they've been working on this for a minute okay um what they want to say how they want to approach you so this could be the person from the mind trip 
who wants to rekindle something like, oh, my bad, I'm sorry. Or this could just be somebody brand new. Let's see what it's crossed by. Oh, no, I'm right. Yeah, Ace of Swords, somebody brand new. So this is outside of the mind trip. Some of y'all have someone who's going to come introduce themselves. And I feel like they're going to be a very, you know, truthful person filled with integrity. Okay, someone either is going to do that or someone is going to come forward with the truth. Okay, for some of y'all, this is related to the mind trip though, because it's like someone is going to come offering up, could be a lover from the past, and they're going to offer up some type of truth or some type of information. Okay, that's going to make you see things from another perspective or like a clear, truthful perspective. And you're going to be able to make a move based off the truth and no longer like illusions or lies or any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Um... I just heard too, the truth will prevail. So for anybody who had any lies or any rumors spread about you, don't worry. Don't go out there trying to defend yourself and trying to fight for your rights and make yourself known that I I feel like um, justice and truth will prevail on your behalf. You won't have to do that. What's in the deep root of things? Wow, the two of pentacles. So some of y'all are juggling between options and decisions. For some of y'all, you have someone who is juggling like i said they've been going back and forth in their mind trying to decide if they're going to come forward with this truth or with this information are they going to drop the truth bomb that either so and so was saying something or that you you know were truthful and they're going to tell you like yeah what you thought was was true and i was lying you know but someone is debating i'm also seeing that like um it could be a friend a friend of a past lover who comes back and drops the truth bomb on you. Like, yeah, you know, your so-and-so was dealing with so-and-so. Okay. And it's the truth though. And it's like, you can make moves based off of that. But whatever news you're about to get, whoever is coming in, or it could be you. I feel like maybe even on the flip side, some of y'all could be like, I should go say something. And you're going back and forth in your mind. But whatever the case may be, it's based off some type of trope. I feel like in this week or these next two weeks, you're going to be able to make decisions based off what is real, non-illusion factors in here. Let's see what's in the um, recent past. Queen of Pentacles. So this could either be your energy or it could be the energy of another person who is around. I want to clarify this right away. Why does the Queen of Pentacles show up? Ooh, the magician. So some of you guys could find out that this person was like, manipulating situations this may be the person who was spreading a rumor or a lie this may be the person that you get the truth about this could be somebody else's third party or karmic situation going on here but somebody was you know orchestrating some type of events okay so this is the energy of where maybe somebody was spreading the rumors lies and all that kind of stuff and this could be either the person coming back in to tell you the truth themselves this is what i did this is what i said i orchestrated or you're going to get the energy or the information from another source Okay, but this is the person in question. And it doesn't have to be um, a female. It could be male or female energy. Okay. Let's see what's going on in your head space. Oh, so whatever may come to light or whatever may have happened with this person orchestrating events. It could have left you feeling very burdened or very stressed. For some of you guys, you feel like you have to constantly defend yourself or you got to constantly um, clean up after somebody else's mess. Once they've said all these things, it's like now I have to go back in and I have to make sure that everyone knows that that's not true. And blah, blah, blah. it's like I'm telling you with the way that um, the karmic justice is going to be. You're not going to have to do that. OK. Also, for some of you all, when I'm feeling like it could that could be a family member. OK. And this is like causing a lot of burden and stress, maybe even on a matriarch in the family. It could be a mother, grandmother, like maybe it's two sisters or two cousins or whoever. And it's like, y'all, y'all stressing grandma out. Y'all stressing grandma out. Could even be your kids arguing. But um, this to me also is saying playing with the realities, meaning like they get away with it because it's so clever or because, you know, it's a magician. So I can make stuff appear as it is, as I want you to see, even though it, it's not, okay? This person has a real gift for that. They come across as a queen. So that means you're like the queen of manipulation. But it doesn't necessarily have to be nasty rumors. It could be clever, cleverly disguised shade, if that makes any sense. What's coming in the near future? 
the two of wands i think who was that aquarius that had the same ending where now you have to make a choice and now you have to make a decision now you have to decide okay if this person comes back lover they want to rekindle let's say they come back yeah i'm sorry i lied I blah 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 take me back i'm sorry this is putting them to the test to see if they can go and find all of the stuff that they you know did and if you can't then boom it's over but some of y'all gonna be making that choice and decision and i just heard for some of y'all it's gonna be really hard because maybe you did want this person to come back and they're gonna come back offering everything only thing about it to be honest with you is they if they if this is a love situation it's a night the cup that they're offering is not the same cup or pentacle that they put out basically the apology that you're offering is not up to the level of the damage that you've done okay and that can work in anything it don't have to be a rumor lie spread about you anything like that it's just to talk about the extent of how far something can go and how far something can reach in a relationship and it can get so far that it gets to the point of no return meaning we can't even be in a relationship no more because you you've gone too far okay but anyway whatever truth and clarity comes back or whatever apology comes back is not up to par with the damage that was done some of y'all need to see how imbalanced the scale would be all right but anyway you got choices and decisions to make let's see what is going on in your fears oh yeah the five of swords i think every sign that i did today got this exact same cards and i'll be shuffling these cards so this energy is just lingering around right now because as we continue to ascend faster and higher it's just like more and more people are falling off okay imagine a tree and there are a bunch of people hanging off the branches and the tree keeps shaking and shaking and shaking after a while it ain't gonna be too many people on the tree they're gonna keep falling one by one bloop 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 they're gonna keep falling and some of y'all it's like you are that tree and you shaking and you shaking and you shaking right now who hold on only the strongest survive only the realest can hold on and it seems as though there may be a few people not just with your sign but with a lot of signs who's shaking them branches right now trying to see who can hold on who's strong enough to be on my squad on my team moving forward into my future it's leveling up ace starting over new level let's see what you look like Mmm, the death card. So some of y'all have put an end to things. You've said no, I'm moving on. And like I said, um, this is we shift in the point of no return. When we get to the death card, it's like once it's dead and done, it's over. It shifted, it's it went from human form to spirit form. I'm ghost sayonara. Some of y'all literally went ghost. You're gonna either transform so hard that you are really hard to get in touch with or you're just going to like leave someone in the dust for dead and stop dealing with them you've looked like you've changed some of y'all just heard my what a mighty long way that must be the answers to talking today because i just heard my what a mighty long way goodness whoa look at this three cards we got Wheel of Fortune. I'm clarifying the death card. Wheel of Fortune. So something shifted. Again, um, this is divine time and things rolling around in seasons. So your season has shifted and changed to the point of no return. We have the Four of Wands, stability. This is foundation, something being really, really solid. So some of you guys have transformed. You could have went from like, uh, for what sign was that? Aquarius? I think it was like rags to riches. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to get rich overnight or anything. But for some of you guys, you've discovered or got a promotion or, or had something land in your mind. Could have been a really good idea that's going to make you really, really rich one day. Okay? So keep pressing with that. Now, as your solid stable, this represents soulmate, twin flame, all of that kind of stuff. Some of y'all could be in something new already. I just saw that when this person comes knocking on the door, your new mate, your new person answers. And it's like, oh okay now for some of y'all you could have that coming someone may see you or see your transformation and want to you know lock it up with you and then guess who's watching the page of swords so we have someone who is totally seeing your transformation for those of you who feel like 
oh, you know, I wish they could look at me now. Like, and they see this and that, man, if they could just see what I look like. And some of y'all may be years ago. And you wish you was back then what you are now. And wish that they could see you now, but... Yep, they do. Let's see what's in your hopes. Ooh, the Empress. Well, you hope to be at the best and the most grand place that you can be. Truly authentic, your own style, your own swag. This is, you are your own um, boss. You own, operate your own empire. Um, the Empress has the Emperor. The Empress is married. The Empress, she does have children. Okay, some of y'all want to get pregnant. Some of you guys want to have multiple babies, a whole, you know, football team. Okay, the Empress can do that. She can do that. Not only does she have the, the health and the abundance of money, she has the resources, she has the tools, and she has the things to pass down for those children as legacy, okay? Generational wealth. You know we love that over here at this channel. So some of y'all are definitely about to take it up a notch. What's interesting is that you come across as the empress, but we had this person over here as the queen. So if this was male or female energy or whatever, who was, you know, maybe even seemed like they were one step above at one point, it's like you come even better. Like... Wow, like you thought you manipulated my life into being bad, but you little did you know that the lies or the rumors or all the negative things that you said about me made me stronger. How ironic. How ironic. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what it is that's coming at the end of this. Uh, there she is. Again, your energy. This is the Queen of Cups. Could be um, someone that maybe you meet, a new friend, or it could just be you seeping back into your energy. You know, you want to become the, the empress. This is in your want sector, but this is who you are now. So seeping and in, getting into your own skin, deciding who comes with you. You are that rock solid tree that is there shaking your leaves and the people who fall off are the people who get left behind. You don't rock with them. You don't move forward with them. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all about to go on a trip before the end of this year. So get your, your passport together. Make sure you all up to date. Get your little outfits together. Um, put your money to the side. Some of y'all are about to travel. And it could be a very unexpected trip, I'm feeling like. Okay, now for the rest of this week, pamper yourself. Do something amazing and special for yourself. Do something wonderful for your body. Drink plenty of water as the Queen of Cups. Male or female, whoever. Um, and I feel like it's going to be a release too. Whatever information comes in, it's going to help you to release. You're going to feel so relieved. It's going to go from the 10 to a 2. Can you imagine that? I got to carry all of this and then boom. It's just the 2. Okay, for some of y'all, oh no, the worst, the worst, the worst. Ah, it's just the 2. Okay, for some of y'all, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Self-care, self-love, I put myself first. I'm pampering myself. I'm going to get a massage. I'm getting my nails done, getting my toes done. I'm about to go do some yoga, go to a meditation class, or do something that I love. And then you make a different choice and you get a different outcome. You bring down that stress from a 10. <sighs> you recharge, you're at a two, and you're ready to take over the world, okay? So that is what I get for you, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email your questions to waterstarvibes at gmail.com and take a look down in the description box to see how you should list your questions, okay? Thank you guys so much once again, Cancer, and I'll see you guys in your mid-monthly videos.